help. What is up guys? Welcome back to another epic video on Awesome Kids TV. How are you doing today? We are back yet again in the world of Billcraft. We just got an advertisement again. Uh, but, any but anyway, <laughs> in this video we are making a clock themed uh, mini game. That is correct, a clock themed mini game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got it smart to do that after making those surgery theme mini games, all six of the latest ones, the latest, the latest models, and of course making that escape game and making this connects cuckoo clock. As you can see, this is the connects cuckoo clock. It has all the cuckoo clock features like gears. Uh. Uh, like gear powered clock hands that move around. I couldn't get all of them to move, uh, but it's still pretty cool though. You can pretend like you're winding the clock to the exact time you want, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And then there's the cuckoo inside the clock that goes, oh, pfft. Whenever the uh, clock strikes 12. <laughs> anyway, without any more further ado, <laughs> we gotta build this clock. So let's build this clock. We will, of course, start with the base of the clock, the base of the clock, the bottom of it. And then we build her up as we go. <laughs> the basic idea by this mini game is that you have to basically uh, jump, climb, and attack mobs uh, all the way to the top of the clock in order to get the reward. You're gonna have to figure out what the reward is on your own. But if you can't figure it out, it is basically a, um, uh, a potion, a reward. The reward is random. The reward is random for whomever plays the mini game, which I think is a really good and legit amazing idea. So this is where all of the clock themed, uh, action is going to go on. <laughs> there will be a series of redstone components like repeaters and compractors and redstone lamps and whatnot. Um, just doing their thing inside this redstone power clock. Yes, it's a redstone power clock. I just spent three minutes talking about all, about all this. <laughs> Anyway, this is going to be one tick of an adventure. <laughs> Get it? Tick, talk, cause clocks tick. And their pendulums like go back and forth. <laughs> yeah, good old fashioned alarm clocks have that but mod and of course modern alarm clocks have have that sort of feature. Yeah, old fashioned. Yeah, old fashioned and modern styles of clocks, uh, types of alarm clock styles have that kind of feature. Anyway, this is uh, one of the mechanisms within the clock. Um, I know it's quite cramped in here, but uh, we can. Totally fix it. We can totes fix it. <laughs> uh, so that is where our remodeling scales come in. So we will cut all this down. There we go. Now we will resize it. 
we'll make it bigger so that we can add more um, space so that we can have more space and add more um, depth and depth into the game. Yeah, alarm clock. Yeah, cuckoo clocks can be bigger too, you know. That was about five minutes of your time wasted completely. I know I could have made the clock bigger, uh, but I didn't make the clock bigger, but that's okay. It's cool. Cramped or not cramped. Actually, it's a little more spaced out. It's a lot more spacious in here. We can now uh, build this timed circuit. Hmm, actually, it's still, it's a little cramped over here. So we are gonna, yet again, uh, uh, make the rebuild process a lot faster with TNT. Stand back! <laughs> there you go. By blowing up half of the clock, we can uh, make it a lot bigger so that we can add, so that we can make the circuit, so that not only can we make the circuit bigger, but we can add, but we can make the game bigger and add more depth, I would say. Right here, right then, here, he, right there, he comes another. <laughs> there you go. Making your block or Minecraft uh, cuckoo clock creations uh, bigger uh, by deleting what you what we had, what you had done with TNT makes it a lot faster. <laughs> no kidding, it makes it a lot faster. We blew up half of the ground there. We blew up half the ground there. <laughs> but who's worried? I'm no worried. Yeah, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Yeah, I uh, I got inspired to make a alarm. To make a cuckoo clock by the Peppa Pig episode, which is appropriately titled QQ Cloak. <laughs> and in that episode, Peppa Pig, Mummy, Mummy Pig, and Daddy Pig uh, mend their old alarm clock. Uh, they stopped winding it. Uh, a long time ago because the cuckoo got a bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, cuckoo clock can get pretty annoying over time. It can get pretty annoying over over time. Over the course of a couple years or months or days or something like that, you will get pretty annoyed by that clock. And you might want to throw it away or something, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, we're not going to throw this thing away. We're not going to throw this giant clock away. <laughs> no, 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 we will not let that happen. Right then, let's work on the first circuit. This will be... Uh, one of the circuits that has the tick. Uh, this will be one of the circuits that the pendulum, uh, will be sitting on. So we'll grab a no block and some that makes a drum noise. There you go. Quartz makes a ticking type sound. <laughs> now we just connect two of these. Two. There you 
There we go. Low tick and a high tick. So we don't need those two pieces. We don't need those two blocks. Sorry. <laughs> we just need four compractors and one repeater, I think. There you go, low pitch tick and a high pitch tick. Actually, we don't need four compractors. We just need two of them. One on subtract mode, one not on subtract mode. And then we grab our redstone. We grab our redstone, there's our redstone. Our lucky trusty redstone now all we need to do is see if this will work <laughs> but first we need to make the clock portion of the cuckoo clock <laughs> so we are going to of course uh, have um, a clock face on the front of the clock with different numbers. It'll be in the uh, left middle of the entire clock, the entire build. It'll be in the left middle. I know it looks wonky, but trust me, it's left. Now we have a couple numbers. I know it does look really big, but hey, I tried. <laughs> anyway, we now put on the hands. The hands I am making out of dark oak uh, wood. Dark oak fence. I mean oak fence, sorry. That is dark oak. This is regular oak. <laughs> My mistake. I got the two wood types mixed up. Anyway, now that we got our oak wood clock hands, we can now add uh, another mechanism, but we got to make sure um, this one works. So I'll grab a lever and see if this works. Um, it works. But it's not as, what's the word? Fluent, yes. It isn't as fluent as an actual clock, an actual cuckoo clock. So we decided to put the repeaters, the two repeaters on four ticks and connect the redstone to the Um, no blocks. Actually, we will connect the no blocks a bit further away, uh, because, you know, we don't want to mess this up or anything. There you go. That is all connected. Hmm. Actually, we need to connect that no block over here. So, and then we need to go right here. Set it to that pitch. Now we just uh, turn it on. There we go. Now we gotta make a little parkour challenge. Whoever can make it to the top of the clock before the clock stops ticking, that is when the game is over. Some of the jumps are easy, but some of the jumps can be incredibly hard. So that's why you need to be prepared. <laughs> anyway, this is the second uh, ticking 
circuit. This is the second circuit. This one is going to be ticking a lot faster. A, a lot faster. A lot faster. So we'll add four sets of re one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Three sets of repeaters. We'll have three sets of repeaters. And then one, two, three, four. Four compractors. All on subtract mode. And then we'll have the uh, no block up here be set to uh, a clock type pitch. Now we just turn it on. Um, it's not working. Nice try. It's a nice try, though. Now we create... Now we create the ladder that you need to climb up to get to the next section. So we are gonna get out our trusty ladder. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. That should be enough. On to the next. This is the final bit of the clock. This is the top of the clock. This is where the cuckoo uh, pops out. So we are gonna, of course, uh, make the cuckoo out of wood. Because, duh, the cuckoo clock, the cuckoo of the cuckoo clock is made out of wood. Duh. It was invented in a generation that was pretty much not that long ago. Well, actually, it was a very long time ago when clocks were invented. I, I can't even remember what year uh, clocks were invented in, what timeline clocks were invented in. I updated the roof of the cuckoo clocks, the cuckoo's roof, so that it looks more triangular. <laughs> it kind of sounds weird coming out from me, but I don't care, because this is a ginormous cuckoo clock that will be filled to the brim if you guessed it. Enemies to battle. Well, not really enemies to battle. They're fake, but you have to escape the clock. That looks a little weird. So we're hanging. So we are. Oh, come on. We're putting upside down stairs on here. There you go. Thank you for being right side up. You're welcome all the time. There you go. Now that is starting to look more professional. Like an actual cuckoo clock. No downward. Thank you. Does this look like a cuckoo clock now? Let's see. Ah, that is too wacky. That is too wonky. Oh well, I tried. Now we need to make the uh, cuckoo that is coming out of the clock. So we're using a combination of dark oak and a little bit of spruce to make it look like a cuckoo bird. So what does a cuckoo bird look like? You may ask. <laughs> well, they have wings like this. A head like this. If this game had pistons, I would really be, it would be really amazing to copy the movement of an actual cuckoo clock, cuckoo bird head, but sadly, this game 
does not come with pistons yet. Anyway, there's the beak, the eyes. <laughs> That's our cuckoo bird. <laughs> now we need a tail feather. <laughs> this looks so silly, and I love it. I really love how silly this looks. This'll be called... This'll are... This cuckoo clock is now called the Silly Cuckoo Clock. <gasps> the Silly Cuckoo! That's what we should call this mini game, the Silly Cuckoo. The Silly Cuckoo mini game is now open! And ready! Right then, before we play the game itself, we need to make a little something to lock us in and not let us out. Yeah, that's right. We get locked in to we get locked inside of a cuckoo clock. <laughs> but we cannot escape. And we have to climb uh, all kinds of stairs and walk up so many ladders and stuff to get out of this silly clock. That's right, to get out of this insane asylum of a clock. This insane animal asylum of a clock. <laughs> Mon monst monster 500 reference. Yeah, that was a Monster 500 reference, if you want to know. That's a reference to the team. Animal Asylum. <laughs> ah! We fell down! Okay. Let's try this again. Ah! Let's try this again. No cheating. Ah! The stairs are in the way. There we go. <laughs> Create a little ledge to, uh, get on. Ah, no turning head. Okay. Ah, so hard. We'll just make this a ladder system instead. And then... Uh... Bigify the ladder uh, itself so that you can easily get on. You know what? We'll put the ladder on the other side. Okay, now we need a platform to uh, walk on. Okay, now we need another ladder to walk on. There you go, we made it! Now we need to climb up this ladder. There we go, nothing bad has happened. We will put mobs in this soon. Come on! Give me a break already, will you? I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to give up. I am not going to give up. I know I had to sacrifice the uh, roof just to escape a uh, cuckoo clock that I go to sneak mode inside of. <laughs> but anyway, we can now escape the cuckoo. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Cuckoo Zama!